Good afternoon, Big Colin here with Tech Out. Another iOS 12 video coming at you. This time it's from the iPad. Um, and we actually have a couple of UI changes on the iPad that we didn't see on um, iPhones. Um, one of them being that the time is now over here in the left corner and the day, month, and uh, date is over here in the left hand corner as well. Um, and that is all the time. When you wake the device, of course, it's still right here. And then when you unlock your device, it moves over to the left hand side here. Another thing you notice is we have our Wi Fi, you know, all our status indicators here. There's also three little dots here. I don't know if you can see them on camera, it's actually kind of hard to see in person. But what that is showing is that if you swipe up, um, you have a gesture kind of like on the iPhone 10. If you swipe up and hold in the middle, you will get your app switcher. You can also double tap on the home button for the app switcher. But um, you see, there is no more control center that comes up when you do that. Control center is actually those three dots, so you swipe down from the left hand corner. Um, your status icons will enlarge and your control center will come down from the top right corner. Similar to how it works on the iPhone 10, you go down from the top right corner and control center appears. This one doesn't do a full screen, it just does the little um, that right there. Pretty much about the same size as it is on an iPhone. Um, 8 Plus is probably about the, the area you get for that. You can still customize your controls and everything like that that you can do on the iPhone. Everything else is basically the same as the iPhone as far as UI. You get the same new wallpaper. Um, voice memos is also here. And the Stocks app is also here on the iPad. Um, you have a little Welcome to Stocks splash screen here. Continue. And you get your news and such like that um, for the different companies that you choose. Um, and you have your top stories. Apple News is on the iPad as always. Um, you still have your screen time option. Let's see, it is up here. So you still have your screen time for the iPad. You can actually tap this. Um, so I don't know if this is going to support um, showing other devices on your iCloud account. Um, I'm not sure about that yet. It's not showing my iPhone. I need to turn on Do Not Disturb because people keep messaging me. Um, it's not showing my iPhone right now. It's just showing my iPad. So it, it narrows it down to category setting, Twitter, social networking, other stuff like that. I don't know how it's got 45 minutes because I just installed this a few minutes ago. So it looks like it's counting time. It's asleep as well um, for like notifications and stuff like that. Or it was counting something else because I haven't used this for 45 minutes. It hasn't had iOS 12 on it for 45 minutes. So not too sure about that. Um, I have Do Not Disturb on here, but if I turn it off, those notifications I just cleared don't show up. I was going to show you the stack notifications on the iPad, but unfortunately they did not stay because I turned on Do Not Disturb and clear the notifications. But that is what iOS 12 looks like on the iPad. Like I said, I'm not going to go over a bunch of other stuff in iOS 12. If you want to see that, check out my iOS 12 on my iPhone video because all those features do carry over. There's just a couple of changes that I just mentioned specifically for the iPad. And this is the latest um, iPad Pro at the time of this recording is what this is on. I don't know that there's any specific features um, for the new iPads that don't um, exist on the older iPads. This has been Colin with Tech Out. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.